Oh man, that's good. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that music gets me every time. Oh man. Love this piece. <laughs> oh man, that was really good. Um that's um ooh, hold on a sec. <laughs> oh, hold on a sec. That's really cool. Um I don't know how he did that opening like he made kind of a it sounded like an old fiddle with with his right hand that little instrument that he was using um I don't know what that was but uh that was cool like it sounded like a fiddle when he first started out or a, or a cello it sounded like kind of like a cello he had three voices going on at the same time you could hear a guitar like almost like a do 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 like a heavy metal oh gila Gila sini tapping harmonik. Oh di dep. I always love how Alay Bata incorporates the beat into the song. I think that it's so cool. Um, I think that it it just it really improves the quality of what he's doing because it's not just playing the guitar. He gives it a beat, gives it something that kind of like, I don't know, just adds another dimension. a lip have in his hand and he's using that thing in his hand he's using that device again Okay, one quick pause. We're going to back that up so we'll get the back into that. So, at the beginning, he, he utilized another tool to make some great sounds to be unique in what he's doing with uh, his content and creativity with his guitar, which is outstanding. I love when he does that, gets creative, starts utilizing different uh, products to, to in incorporate better sounds without actually bringing in more equipment to create different sounds. So, that's outstanding. And again, his, his, his impeccable persistence and not persistence his, his impeccable precision and his core um activity is incredible man i practice every day and it's just so difficult so it is so nice to see him able to do it as smoothly as